Peaks, uh, Gold Peak Green Tea. Delicious. Well, guys, uh, this is the second follow-up video to the Fall Bardolph for 2017. And uh, I've been waiting to do this part of the video, um, and you'll see why in a minute. But uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, all the guys that participated in the Fall Bardolph. <clears throat> and also uh, thank you to you guys who went and watched the videos uh, including my uh, part one follow-up video. Um, for some reason, the uh, Fall Bardolf video got over 200 views. And uh, I don't know how that happened since it was unlisted and only for the B.O.B. And the B.O.B. only has 20 members in the group email list. So, anyway, it's very interesting. Um, and uh, I just want to talk about a couple quick things. Uh, in the in the group email that I'm getting ready to send uh, to give the link to this video, um, I'm going to have uh, the link to some other videos. I posted a throwback video on YouTube yesterday, and it's a I called it First Frog, and uh, some of you may have seen some of the footage before, but um, I go back and I dug out some archive videos that have me sitting here at the same spot I am now uh, back in 2012 talking about my plans for uh, developing my own first frog lure and then I show uh, uh, a composite, a compilation of actually making my first very crude uh, frog lure that I called the Popeye Frankenfrog and it demonstrates very well that um, the bass don't care what the lures look like um, because that lure, that prototype was my very first one and it was a dog turd with a hook in it, literally. And then I show footage of going out and fishing it the same day that I made that lure and I got six takes on that lure and finally caught one bass. It was pretty cool. But that was the beginning of Clatterbrat. I didn't even realize it at the time, but that's how it started. All right, so I'm going to put the link to that video. Um, somewhere in this video, I will also include a little excerpt showing a little bit of progress on Bantam Bard. And that's the lure that I'm working on now to be slightly larger than Peanut Bart and smaller than Baby Bart. Well guys, just a quick update since I'm making this second follow-up video for the Fall Bardolf. I'm going to try to use this video for multiple purposes. And just to show a, a little bit of a update on the um, what I'm calling for now anyway, Bantam Bart. Which is uh, going to be roughly that size, not counting the legs or tail. But you can see uh, how big it might be compared to the weasel. Uh, or even baby Bart is bigger and uh, you can see uh, that peanut is a little bit smaller and this is going to be a little smaller as well it's not finished yet but just to show I have uh, trimmed it up a little bit more than it was the last time you saw it um, I have to really work on it quite a bit yet and when I do it'll get smaller and smaller so it's going to approach uh, the size of peanut but be just a little bit bigger. Uh, so anyway, that's the update for now. Bantam Bart is still in the works. Stay tuned for more news from the Clatterbrat Workshop. Um, but mainly I just want to say that uh, this video is going to show the prizes and everything for uh, the Fall Bart Off. And I want to, I made a couple notes here. I just want to say um, that we had six participants in five different states. That's because two of the participants were both from the great state of Virginia. But the states represented in the Fall Bardolph are kind of cool. We had New Hampshire, Florida, Michigan, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. All great guys, great members of the BOB. And for any of you that didn't get to participate, I'm really sorry. I was really hoping to use this contest 
as a way to uh, express my gratitude and sincere heartfelt thank you to all of you guys in the B.O.B. for sticking with me over the years, for supporting what I've been doing, um, for helping me with the tackle bombs that we did, um, for being generous and, and, help, and uh, just supporting everything along the way. I really appreciate it. And um, so I like to do these contests um, as a way to say thank you, you know. So this gift, this uh, prize package, I think, is one of the best ones I've ever done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. It'll be a long one. Um, but let me say now, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for everything. God bless. And best wishes. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, try to get the camera adjusted down toward where the action is. So this is the uh, the second follow-up and the final follow-up to the Fall Bardolf. And uh, I'm just going to go through the prizes and uh, get things packed up as we go. And I said uh, in the original... Um, Bark, uh, fall Bart off contest video that uh, everybody would receive a man's hard nosed snake and it's a 10 inch floating snake <clears throat> I'm not including a hook so you guys will have to match up your own hook to it uh, I recommend um, the, uh, there's, there's only two colors I've got solid black or the moccasin color which the moccasin color is like a brown and black, although it's not showing up very good. You can just see some hints of the brown there. Um, but you'll get one randomly colored. And I recommend that you try to keep the uh, hook as small as possible while still getting enough gap to catch a fish. That way uh, the weight of the hook won't mess up the floating properties of this bait. You know, I would say nothing bigger than a 3 eye hook you know um, and you hook it right through the head of the snake and have the uh, barb of the hook sticking out the top and this can be fished as a top water you know in the scum and muck so this is a man's hard hard nosed snake uh, let me see here's the package um, and I only have one left and I guess I'll be fishing that one so anyway I hope you guys enjoy that um, part of the gift package and what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to show uh, this is the uh, envelope that's going out to a member of the BOB, Dennis Weiss, down in Florida. He put up a video. Uh, he didn't catch a fish, but he was fishing uh, Black Beauty Baby Bart down there. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I've am going confirmed that Dennis's address is correct. And before I ship out uh, everybody's prizes, I need the rest of you guys, there's five of you, um, I need you to send me your your current mailing address just because it's been a while since I've shipped anything to most of you. I just want to make sure before I get these envelopes in the mail that I have the right addresses. So for everyone except Dennis Weiss that participated in the Fall Bardolf, please uh, email me your current shipping address, okay? And that way I've already got all the envelopes labeled um, with the addresses that I have for you guys already labeled ready to go but I just want to confirm that those are the correct shipping addresses so uh, I need your email input okay and then I can get things shipped so uh, the first thing up is the man's floating hard-nosed snake 10 inches I think these are good good uh, possibilities for uh, you know having some fun in the scum and muck so I'll be putting one of them in each package. I'll show uh, the package for Dennis Weiss going out here shortly. Uh, the next thing I have is uh, the Man's Tidewater Mid-1 Minus. This is a good size, really fat and buoyant 
uh, hard bait. It only dives to 12 or I think maybe 17 inches. Let me see. Dives to 12 inches. Um, and this one, you know, this lure is made in the USA. You can see right there. Made in USA. Um, Ifula, Ufula, Ufula, Alabama is where uh, this bait is made for man's. But anyway, uh, this is in the holo shad color. Uh, this are is called citrus holo shad. My favorite color. I've caught bass and freshwater on this color, and I've caught um, fish and saltwater with it. I only have uh, uh, I have m mostly that color, but I do have two of them in the uh, holo um, bunker color, which is a gold and black back. So if anybody, when you contact me about your um, your current mailing address if you prefer the gold let me know uh, and I'll make sure that you get it otherwise the gold to go out randomly to whoever alright and everybody else will get the citrus holo shad um, but this is a good floating topwater bait it's almost a wake bait if you fish it slow it can be fished like a wake bait in a topwater great lure hope you guys enjoy it alright next up is the uh, I'm really happy with this little lure, the Yozori uh, Sugar Snap Bean, or Snap Beans, it's called. And I got all of them in the perch color, because the perch color um, hard baits work the best in my area, and I'm hoping they'll do the same in your area. Guys, this is a tiny little lure, look. It's basically the size of my pinky finger, the last, uh, the tip of my pinky finger. That's the size of this little snap bean. It's a, it's a sinking lure. Has a single treble hook on the back. Has a really nice rattle in it. I can't get it to show up right now. But this is a super cool, um, ultra tiny micro crankbait for panfish. I got it for crappie mainly. But I'm hoping to get out some video before it gets too cold uh, and fish this lure and show you guys what I get on it. So everybody's going to get one of those. They're all the same color. Now this is the reason why I, uh, I was delaying making this video. Because I ordered another lure that I wanted to include in this kit package. This uh, prize package. And this is the Rebel Micro Critters. Let me try to get the focus. Rebel Micro Critters. Track down. It's a sinking, a uh, little tiny, another little, uh, here you go, track down micro crawfish. It's a very tiny, you can see uh, my index finger there, very small. It's like two inches long, including the hook. What interested me about this, and the reason why I was willing to wait to get this package together for you guys, is that this lure by Rebel has a single hook. You don't see very many hard baits with a single hook these days. You know, it's kind of weird to say it, but I'm almost uh, suspicious that they got this idea from me. Because when I first started putting all my prototype videos on YouTube, both for the uh, top water baits and also my, uh, my, my different uh, deep, you know, diving um, jig shad for salt water, they, all my lures have single hooks. And I made such an emphasis on it. And, you know, early, my first uh, YouTube channel that I deleted, Blood Knot 101, with the 2,000 videos on it, I had a whole bunch of Asian subscribers, guys. And I think a lot of them worked for these companies. And they were taking my lure concepts and, they, and they're copying them. They stole my Dragonfly lure, which I had developed before anybody came out with one. They saw that and some of them stole that. So now you've got multiple dragonfly lures available out there on the market. They liked my single hook uh, philosophy, and here it is, in this little tiny micro bait. I say all that because this one is made in China. Made in China. So th this one does not have a rattle, but it's another sinking uh, tiny, tiny crankbait for panfish. You'll catch bass on it, too. So when you're fishing this lure, you might want to, uh, you know, use a medium action spinning rod um, so that you can still cast a small lure. 
um, and yet have enough backbone in case you get a bass, you can get a hook up and land it. Um, let me see, the weight on this is uh, 3 30 seconds of an ounce. There you go. It's 1 and 5 16 inches sinking lure. And, uh, you know, it's just a nice looking little lure. And I got the idea from this by watching a guy's channel. He's a young man. I think it's 618 Fishing on YouTube. Pretty cool guy. He doesn't seem to be over hyping things. And uh, he fishes like a lot of micro lures. And then he fishes other lures as well. But he really, I like his videos on the micro lures. And he had this little bait out and was catching some really nice crappie on it. And some bass, you know, just bank fishing. And I thought, man, I really want to add that for the B.O.B.'s uh, prize package. Because it's a single hook and because it's a micro bait for panfish. So everybody's getting one of these. Now the thing about these is I only have them in two colors. I've got the gold. And it's got like, uh, you know, regular crawfish colors on the belly. And then I've got the red. And it's got different colors, like a little bit of blue on the tail and uh, fire orange on the belly. So you have a choice. And when you email me about the uh, your current address, um, let me know whether you want gold or red in the crawfish, okay? In the little rebel crawfish. Super cool lure, and this is why it took me so long to make this uh, follow-up video. Um, so email me your current address, and let me know whether you want the... Uh, the holo citrus holo shad or the um, the uh, holo um, bunker gold color in the uh, tidewater in the man's bait and then let me know whether you want the red or the gold in the uh, in the rebel bait okay I guess you could let me know as well if you want whether you want the moccasin color or the black in the man's top water uh, uh, floating snake. There's a black one there, and then this is the uh, moccasin color, which is a brown and black marbly look. So let me know your color preferences. If you don't tell me any preferences, then you'll just get whatever I randomly, you know, select for you. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, address that I have for Dennis Weiss. Like I say, I've already confirmed his address because I knew he had relocated based on his previous address, and then he posted that video in the Bardolph for uh, from from Florida. So that made me email him personally, and uh, he confirmed that he has indeed moved. So here's what I'm going to do, um, Dennis. I'm going to put in for you the citrus holo shad. My top, my favorite color in a man's uh, hard bait. That's going into your package. Actually, I hope all this will fit in this package. I think it will. Um, and then I'm going to put in the snap beans for you by Yozori. Light work. You need to have at least a light spinning rod and maybe even ultra light to throw this. Supposedly, it casts better than you think. That's what they say. The guys that fish them in YouTube, they say it casts pretty well. So, right, that's going in. So, Dennis, um, since you already have a gold snap bean, I'm going to put you in the red uh, color rebel crawl, okay? So, that way, you're getting three different color baits here. And then, um, I'm putting you in the... Uh, the moccasin color man's uh, hard nosed snake. So let's get that in there. Now, guys, I'm not putting any clatterbrack card or uh, anything like that in this particular mailing, okay? It's just going to be the baits. No notes from me, no nothing, just the baits. All right? So there we go. That's the package. And the rest of you guys, let me know your preferences and your current mailing address, all right? All right, guys, apologize for the weird lighting. Um, I have a strange light situation back here. And by the way, I'm doing this video old school on my old computer in the back room, just like I used to do all my videos. It's a, uh, an old Philips uh, webcam, 
and uh, it served me well over the years. It does low resolution, but uh, I just like the effect of it, you know. Um, so anyway, here's the package going out to Dennis Weiss, longtime member of the BOB, now relocated to Florida. And Dennis, tag on it, you better be showing me some tubs caught on clatterbrat lures or on your baby Bart, I should say. Dennis only has the one lure. Dennis, uh, I recommend you use uh, a little bit of uh, braided line for uh, fishing uh, baby Bart and try to use a sideways hook set when you can, all right? Show me some love from down there in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to see some tubs on that Black Beauty Baby Bart you've got, all right? Thank you so much for getting in the contest. You're ready to go. Uh, the rest of you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the prizes. The man's uh, hard-nosed floating snake. Uh, the man's uh, tide water mid-1 minus. Um, again, man, I can't help it. I just love this citrus holo shad. This is the weirdest looking color you ever, I ever saw really in a, in a hard bait. And my daughter and I were fishing them a couple years ago. Actually, it's been longer than that now. It's probably been more like uh, eight or nine years ago. And we were fishing in a local pond, and both of us were getting blown the heck up by some nice bass on that weird cup. It was great. Um, and I hope you guys really uh, enjoy the Snap Bean by Yozori. Yozori makes some of the best quality hard baits there are. They're made in Japan. Um, and then, of course, I... Uh, I'm hoping to demonstrate these little tiny micro lures myself out in the kayak before it gets too cold. Hope you guys enjoy the little rebel crawfish with a single hook, which I thought was a very interesting design, and I feel like they might have copied my, my philosophy. I know it sounds crazy because I'm just small compared to these big companies, but trust me, guys, um, these, a lot of these companies have followed me on YouTube, I, and I've known it for a long time. And they were really looking at my philosophies and my, my, uh, what I was up to, my designs. And I think uh, several of these companies have picked up on some of my philosophies because um, they make sense. And uh, so they're starting to show up in some of these other lures. So anyway, that's it. Sorry for the long video, but I'm really excited to get all these things packed up. As soon as I hear from you guys to confirm your shipping addresses, and any preferences you have on these color options, I'll get you packed up and shipped, okay? And um, also, uh, if you don't get the color option you, you asked for, that means I ran out of color options, okay? Because I only have a certain number of each color. So if you don't get the color you asked for, I apologize. But it just means I already gave out the colors that you asked for, okay? So that's it. Thanks again for getting in on the Fall Bart Off. I really enjoyed all of your videos. Um, you guys, uh, I really appreciate your support and loyalty through the years and all your help with the tackle bombs, your generosity. And there's a whole lot more members of the BOB that I would like them to have my thanks as well. But they just sort of fell off and stopped following, so they're not included in the group email. And therefore, they don't see the unlisted videos either. So. Until uh, I pick things back up again down the road, if I ever decide to do that, uh, I'm going to keep it small and light like it has been. And uh, hoping that all of us get out and catch a few fish this fall and uh, have a little bit of fun, a little bit of peace, and, uh, and therapy. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for everything. God bless and best wishes.